subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. Problem solving using chemical equations. How much oxygen is left in the submarine? A chemical reaction can be represented by a chemical equation, which may be in word form or symbol form. Chemical equation tell us substances react together in a reaction and what is produced. The coefficients of a balanced equation tell us the mole ratio of the reactants and products. We can use the mole ratio to calculate the amount of product in a reaction. We can also use it to calculate the amount of reactants needed to produce a certain amount of products. First, we have to look at the question given. If the question asks to calculate the mass of A, given the mole of A, we use this equation. If it is the other way around, that is to find out moles of A, given the mass of A, we use this question. Now, if the question requires us to calculate the volume of A given the number of moles of A, we will use this equation. If the question requires us to calculate the number of moles of A given the volume of A, we use this equation. In another case, if the number of moles of A is given and you need to find the number of moles of B and vice versa, then you need to write a balance equation. From the balance equation, we can use this formula to solve the problem. The conversion from moles of one substance to moles of another in a reaction will be determined by the values of the coefficients. Copper metal reacts with silver nitrate to produce silver and copper 2 nitrate. How many moles of silver would be produced if 0.25 mole of copper is consumed? Step 1. Write the balanced equation for the reaction. Step 2. Compare the mole ratio of copper and silver. Step 3. Identify the information given and what you want to find. In the question 0.25 mole of copper, we have to find the number of moles of silver that is produced. Step 4. Try to calculate the number of moles of silver based on the mole ratio in the equation. Click on the question icon for the answer. Make sure the final answer is written with the appropriate unit. Fill in the correct answer into the appropriate space given. Now, we will do some activities for further understanding. Sodium will react with hydrochloric acid to produce sodium chloride and hydrogen gas. Let's do another activity. You are required to solve this problem. Sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce sodium chloride and water. What is the number of moles of sodium chloride which will be produced from 0.25 mole of sodium hydroxide? Mole to mass and mass to mole conversion. There are two types of questions. A. Starting with a known number of mole of one substance and seeking the mass of another. B. Starting with a known mass of one substance and finding the number of moles of another. Now, let's see the example for mole to mass conversion. 
How many grams of carbon dioxide would be produced if 0.85 mole of carbon reacts completely with bisulfur dioxide? Before we can calculate the mass of carbon dioxide, we have to know its number of moles. We can use this formula to calculate. Step 1. Write the balanced equation for the reaction. Step 2. Compare the mole of ratio of copper and carbon dioxide. Step 3. Identify the information given and what you want to find. Step 4. Calculate the number of moles of carbon dioxide based on the mole ratio in the equation and then the mass of carbon dioxide produced. What is the number of moles of chlorine gas that reacted if 5.50 grams of phosphorus pentachloride are produced? Before we can calculate the mass of chlorine gas, we have to know the number of moles of phosphorus pentachloride. We can use this formula to calculate. Scheme. How are we going to do the calculation? Step 1. Write the balanced equation of reaction. Step 2. Compare the mole ratio of chlorine and phosphorus pentachloride. Step 3. Identify the information given and what you want to find out. The mass of phosphorus pentachloride is given in the question. We have to find out the number of moles of chlorine. Step 4. Calculate the number of moles of phosphorus pentachloride based on the mass given. Aluminum will react with bromine to produce aluminum bromide. What is the mass of bromine that will react with 0 0.200 mole aluminum? Mass-to-mass -mass conversion involves three steps starting with a known mass of one substance and seeking the mass of another. Silver oxide reacts with hydrogen at a high temperature to produce silver metal and water. The balance equations for the reaction is how many grams of silver oxide are required to produce 50.0 grams of silver metal. Step 1. Write the balanced equation for the reaction. Step 2. Compare the mole of ratio silver and silver oxide. Step 3. Identify the information given and what you want to find. Step 4. Calculate the number of moles. Copper 2 nitrate decomposes when heated to produce copper 2 oxide, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. If 16 grams of copper 2 nitrate is heated, calculate the volume of nitrogen dioxide that is liberated at room conditions. Step 1. Write the balanced equation of reaction. Step 2. Compare the mole ratio of copper 2 nitrate and nitrogen dioxide. Step 3. Given the mass of copper 2 nitrate is 16 grams, we have to find the volume of nitrogen dioxide gas liberated. Step 4. Calculate the volume.
Summary A chemical equation gives the following information. The reactant that takes part in the reaction, the product form, the number of moles of the reactants and products of the reaction. A chemical equation is an equation that shows the substances that are involved in the reaction. Mole to mole conversion. Mole to mass and mass to mole conversion. Mass to mass conversion. Mass to mole to volume conversion. Click on the blinking button to proceed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.